We find ourselves at the house of Mr. Angelo Solis and La Grulla, and we also discover that he has quite a treasure when it comes to uh, bottled, bottles of uh, soft drinks. And these range in, in uh, age from the early 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s of last century. What, what a treasure we have here. And I want to describe a little bit about what the different uh, uh, bottles represent. Uh, one of the first ones that came out was the Coca-Cola. It, was, it used to be a straight shape, and I don't see any straight shapes. Uh, most of these, uh, maybe like some of these, are straight shaped. Um, and that was before 1915. Then, in, in, around 19, after 1915, the, the Coca-Cola company came out with a, a lady-shaped bottle. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can find one here. Um, anyway, um, th th that was called the Hubble skirt. Hubble, like the, the, the telescope up in the sky, Hubble skirt. It, it, eight years later, in 1923, December 25th, they came out with, with this uh, also real nice um, Coke uh, bottle, and they call it the Christmas Coke because it came out on December 25th. And it's called the Pat D. Hubble skirt. Uh, and now, after that, they decided that they're not going to put any information except the patent number on the bottle. Then we have the 7-Up. Look at this one. Now, everybody is familiar with 7-Up. The, the, the man who came out with the name died and didn't give a reason as to why he called it 7-Up. But this is what we know from the company. The, 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 the drink itself, the 7-Up, contains seven natural fr flavors blended into a savory, flavory drink with a real wallop or kick. Huh? That's why it's got seven. And up because... The soda's rising bubbles, if you think, when the uh, fluorescent goes up, and uh, that's why they call it the 7-Up. Then we have the Nehi, N-E-H-I, bottle. All right? And this one, this one, um, the name Nehi, N-E-H-I, was purposely chosen to remind everybody that it's a Nehi bottle. It's, at the time, it's one of the taller bottles. Nehi, Ni, right? And, and so... Um, this came in different flavors. It came in orange and grape, in root beer, peach, and other flavors. It's just fantastic. Eventually, in 1955, the, Co uh, the RC Cola Company bought out the uh, Nehi Company, and th this, uh, unfortunately, uh, this drink was discontinued by the year 2000. It's already gone. No longer had that available. Okay. Now we have um, the Pepsi Cola. This is a very familiar, very uh, popular drink. When it came out, it came out very, very strong and very, uh, uh, like I said, popular. The, uh, the Pepsi Cola came out in 1940. It started with a company logo and, and, and uh, on, on, the, on the bottle itself and on the neck, right here. Right? And then um, the first bottles were six ounces only and they were produced by different companies. Eventually, they produced their own by 1940 and they came out with a 12 ounce bottle, a little bit bigger than that, but a 12 ounce bottle. Uh, known as the swirl because they had the swirl around the neck, right? swirling around the neck. And these were returnable bottles. If you're, those of you who are my age re remember that uh, we could return these bottles and we'd get some money back. So no, nobody threw away the bottles. We always wanted to save them. We didn't have too much money to buy drinks, but when we did, we saved the bottles. By 1960, uh, PepsiCo or the PepsiCola uh, company uh, decided that they needed uh, non-returnable -re bottles, and that's when they came up, and that became very popular. They, uh, they uh, had these bottles and also some cans and plastic that were non-returnable. People just threw them away, and that became very popular. They got tired of having to return the bottles. Right? So we, uh, we also have some more. We don't have a whole bunch of information, but look at this. This is a Canada Dry Spur. Spur, right? And then we have uh, this one over here, which is... Uh, the uh, Red, Red Rock Cola. Uh, is this the one from Mission? That was, oh, I, I think the Spur was the one, right? Oh, this one, okay. Oh, yeah, the Mission beverages. You look at that. All these are collectible, collectible items. And, is that and Mission Texas? I, I don't know if it's Mission Texas, but they're all collectible items, and, and we, we want to make sure that, that we uh, uh, come on, oh, save these. Now, the Big Chief also was very, very popular. This, uh, this was eventually, of course, uh, uh, was produced by the Coca-Cola Bottling company, company, but it started on, on its own. This came out of uh, 1925 in Kansas. It had a soury, uh, tangy taste to it. But, uh, 
and it had different heights I mean, until um, later on, but it had the different uh, Indian chiefs' uh, faces on them. That's why there were different sizes, and some people wanted bigger uh, to, to, to be able to fit the face of, of the Indians, uh, of the Indian chiefs that they, they were highlighting. And so uh, we want to congratulate Mr. Angelo Solis for, for uh, but having all this. This is quite a treasure. And, and it's a collectible item. And he has and, many more. And he has, he tells, he's telling us that he has many more. He even has the containers where they can be stored. You know? These are the old kinds of uh, uh, fridges or, or freezers that were highly insulated. And you could put it, we used to use this for, with those blocks of ice. And they would stay there for a long, long time. You wouldn't melt like now they do. But anyway, we find this very fascinating, and we want to congratulate Mr. Angelo Solis for having all this, and we urge him to to keep tab of it, and eventually, who knows, he might be able to uh, get a good price for them.